in my head, I think this is going to be a terrible idea to make her a narration or recording of this video. Also in my head, I think we're already here. We might as well start. Welcome to another video on this delicate channel. I don't have much to say. Um, I didn't make a video last week because of school. And what you're watching me do is color one flower. It's getting severely distracting while I'm doing it. And I think the way that I'm colored with colored pencils can be uh, self-distracting. And I draw pretty slow if you can't tell. That's why my speed paints look like I'm trying to move at the speed of light as if an angel's grabbing my hand and moving as fast as possible and wiggling some fingers. And some of these words might be a little bit off because of the uh, buffering while this is being made. But I'm actually making this on a Wednesday night because come Friday I don't want to do anything. Um, and I got to still study for my own statistics class in the community college. So yeah, you guys are getting a video of me doing a traditional sketch. Funny, um, I plan to do this long, long after this period of time. School is exhausting, but uh, what a reason I made this video was for is because I finally made my decision on what I want to be, and I want to be an art teacher. I've been thinking about this for so long. It's been such a struggle in my own head. It's been so damaging to myself in my own space because I didn't think I could do it. To be honest, I still feel terrified about doing it. I I'm terrified the idea of thinking about doing it. Honestly, I'm terrified at thinking about doing it while thinking about doing it because I'm terrified. I'm not anxious or anything. I know God will provide a way. It's not my biggest fear. I just my personality you can sometimes be a little bit more objective, but I'm already even shadowing. I've been shadowing. I was supposed to do 40 hours for school, but I've been shadowing just as long, if not longer, for um, the hours for the school, and I'm excited. I really am. It's a new experience. It's a different way of thinking. A different logic is going to force me to go into a situation thinking a whole lot more differently than I think I normally would. Um, you know, drawing is such a beautiful thing. Making art is so beautiful. It's something that I think should be helped taught and motivated and cultivated with kids and people that want to do it in their future. And I also terrify thinking about not only what my parents will say, I was taking what they were saying into real consideration. Would I find a job? Would it be capable for me to actually get a job? And um, it's all I've been thinking about for a while. It's caused a lot of stress because it was either art, it was either art teacher or math teacher. Art teacher, math teacher, art teacher, math teacher. Whatever kind of teacher I was going to end up being, I didn't know what I was going to do. And so with that in mind, I just, I just picked. You gotta go with your gut sometimes, man. I, I I feel like I prayed on it, and I feel like I'm going with my gut. I'm doing what I feel like is right, and I'm gonna do it. I'm jumping on board. I'm doing what I think I'm gonna do. And college is scary, but I don't think I'm. I don't know if I gotta go to an art school. I've done all my prerequisites. I only have two classes left in my community college. Thank you, God, because I really did not want to stay in here. My school isn't bad or anything. I mean, there are flaws, but there are flaws everywhere. I'm just ready to get out. <laughs> I'm most definitely ready to get out. I've done all the work I can. I'm just in the statistics class that could kill me after a while if I don't. Man, that class is difficult. I don't even feel like I'm succeeding in that class, but yeah. I don't know what to say. Um, like, I'm making this now, right before I start studying again, just take a little bit of a break. I've been waiting for the computer to load this in. I've been recording on my iPhone. I didn't know how difficult it was to take. I This is my first iPhone. And I'm like, oh, just plug it into the phone. I'll come to photos. Nope, you got to go to the cloud and all this other stuff. I'm ready to jump to Android, but I digress. Yeah, I'm going to be an art teacher. And God, may God be blessed because I am still terrified. And you all can pray for me. Just hold up a sign, light a match for me or something, I'm terrified, but I'm not unhappy terrified, I'm scared and I'm happy, like, I'm afraid things could possibly go wrong, but at the same time, they could really just go right, and maybe I'm overthinking it, maybe I'm not thinking about it hard enough, maybe I'm thinking about it so hard that I'm making myself become stressed out, 
there's most definitely a possibility, to be honest. Um, yeah. Uh, there was an audio problem for like a split second. I couldn't tell how far I was in the video because when you do it in Movie Maker, uh, sometimes it kind of like buffers as it's recording. But uh, where was I? Yeah, I'm going to be an art teacher. I'm so excited. I love watching people like grow in their craft. And I went to go talk to one of the professors at my school, and she's like, You're not going to have time for your own work. You're going to have to invest in their works and stuff and I'm like I'm kind of I'm kind of okay with it like you know I don't really get time to do my own work now and I'm kind of I'm not mad at that for real it'd be different if I was like oh no I want to do what I want to do nah god bless for real like I'm perfectly fine with helping other people achieve what they're looking for man I know recently I've been pretty hypocritical with this but you know you gotta clap for people when they get up there I can't say that anymore. I haven't been hypocritical with the clap for people on their way up. I've been hypocritical with, like dealing with people I have opposition with. I know the word it says, you know, love your enemies. I get it. But sometimes I just want to kick them in the face. Kick them in the throat. Kick them in the chest. Matter of fact, it's like a three piece of some me stuff. Like you know what I'm saying? But I'm so I'm so I'm so relieved that I've made a decision for my life and I know that I can do it. I'm just willing to give back to my community and be a teacher and I love I love being around those kids the kids I'm shadowing it's so I guess because because my face is very like straight faced most of the time or I'm really loud or I'm just really quiet there's really no in between for me either I'm obnoxious or I'm creepy scarily silent I guess that they do like they are looking at me like oh man he's kind of weird but I'm kind of okay with that too to me, it's not really that big a deal. I'm happy. I feel like I'm in a place where I'm doing the right thing, you know, where I'm helping somebody out. It, it, it makes such a difference. I don't think art teachers understand the credit they receive sometimes. Like, they can change lives. I love my art teacher from high school. I've loved every art teacher I've ever had, even if they were really critical. And sometimes I feel like the critical ones are just as important to really help you, like, build on your craft, like, you know. And I think that art teachers, they make such a... A big difference like I know math teachers are important I know English teachers are important I know you know um, well what's another one I guess history teachers are important not I guess history is important you don't learn it you know you're doing to repeat it but an art teacher that level being able to express how you feel and not just make an art for expressing learning the fundamentals learning how to draw a head and hands properly learning how to do things correctly blending colors color theory all that thing all that stuff is so important Mind you, I've never taken a college level art class, and I'm anxious as anything, and I, I'm just happy to be somewhere where I can use my talent in a not way that makes me feel like I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And by the way, you're looking at an older video. Um, I know that I'm uploading a faster version of this to my Instagram, but quite literally, I'm doing like one flower. I'm making the shadows for one of the flowers to the left of this one, and maybe two petals. And maybe I might do like a full drawing of this one if I know how to draw faster. That's one thing about myself I really don't like. I draw really, really slow. Even in my um, nativity one for the Christmas thing I did years ago, on, you know, it was like a Christian Mary Joseph Christ baby uh, speed drawing up here. The Nativity one about a year ago, and I'm going to have to, like, make ideas for this one this year. And that's going to be difficult, but, you know, it, it took me so long. I draw so slow. That's one of my biggest fears. But I draw slow and take my time to make sure the final product is okay. Like, this was supposed to be commissioned a while back, and at this point, they're like, you know, if you finish it, I'll take it anyway. They're getting the print. <laughs> I don't want to give them the actual drawing because, like, I really like it. They don't mind taking a print. And if you look at the right, all in the right, past the scarf above the other butterfly, you'll see that I put orange in for the flower. So, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I'm super happy. I feel blessed out the world right now. I get to, oh, I get to pursue a career where I don't feel like I'm doing something wrong. Like, I'm doing something right, right. But I'm sorry for rambling on. Sorry for rambling on. I can't talk. I hope you guys are blessed and you guys are always safe and 
Thank you so much for listening to me talk about uh, like transitioning from point A to point B. I know this is not the place to do stuff like that, but I really am happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much. And honestly, from the deepest part of my heart, I hope you guys are blessed. I hope you guys are safe. You stay up and you be easy. Bye.